Good morning, everybody, and welcome to week five of Graceful Living. This week, we have readings from Matthew and Philippians. And for those of you who are new to this, we are using daily discipleship and daily faith practices from the ELCA, both of which can be found on their website under resources. Let us pray. God, give me work till my life shall end and life till my work is done. Amen. And I, I will say that I just love that little prayer. Um, and it's inscribed on the grave of Winifred Holtby, who's a novelist. Um, in short, it's sweet. And I think it really sums up so much of one, what our readings are talking about this week and what the questions are on in two really just encompasses every aspect of Christian life. So our reading this morning is from the Gospel of Matthew, and it's the parable of the wedding banquet. Once more, Jesus spoke to them in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his slaves to call those who had been invited to the wedding banquet, but they would not come. Again, he sent other saves slaying, tell those who have been invited, look, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fat calves have been slaughtered and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. But they made light of it and went away, one to his farm, another to his business, while the rest seized his slaves, mistreated them and killed them. The king was enraged. He sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then he said to the slaves, The wedding is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go, therefore, into the main streets and invite everyone you find to the wedding banquet. Those slaves went out into the streets and gathered all whom they found, both good and bad, so the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to see the guests, he noticed a man there who was not wearing a wedding robe. And he said to him, Friend, how did you get in here without a wedding robe? And he was speechless. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot and throw him into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. So this is a hard reading this morning. And I think as Lutherans, it can make us a little twitchy because we're justified. And so are we in the chosen or are we a part of that many who are called but not chosen? So if you get a little twitchy, it's okay. You're still baptized. So some questions to think about as you read through the Matthew reading this week. Um, if the issue isn't clothing, what's the point of the parable? So is the issue in this text really that there's one person who's not dressed appropriately or is it something bigger than that? Um, do you believe every person has received an invitation from God? In other words, has everyone heard the good news of God in Jesus Christ? And how can the challenge for modern day Christians to invite someone to the banquet feast of God be lived out on a daily basis? And, you know, I think that's a really good question, especially during this pandemic where we're staying home and we're social distancing and we're not seeing as many people as we used to, or hopefully we're not. Um, how can we 
live out our call to share the good news during this time. So ponder all of that and pray our prayer and read all the readings. Have a good week. Hopefully at some point it will stop raining. Bye guys.